So what's going on everybody? Adam Neely with Build, Guild, and Refine TV. Coming back at you with another episode. So today we're going to talk about circular saws. Now circular saws have come a long way. This is one of my first circ saws from, oh I don't know, what, late 70s maybe, early 80s. It's, uh, <laughs> it's an old craftsman and this I used this saw for many years. This was a gift from my grandfather who was a builder. He gave this to me and uh, this saw has seen a lot of use. And then obviously I've had a few more of my own and as my career continued, I went to a worm drive rear handle and uh, that's been great. But at the same time, I also always had something small on hand like this little six and a half inch Milwaukee. This was one of the first 18 volt tools that they did and it was a great little saw. I mean, it was terrific to have on hand just to rip two by fours. Now, as you can see in this video right here, I recently made the switch from DeWalt back to Milwaukee because that's what I started using when I went out on my own in construction. I've recently just picked up this seven and a quarter inch, I guess, aluminum based brushless 18 volt circ saw. Now, this is great because the weight of this is comparable to the weight of the old 18 volt six and a half. But that being said, it is not the fuel surf saw. It is the non-fuel. I've got a six amp battery on here right now. Uh, it's got a nice little rafter hook. Um, I mean, all the controls are easy to get to, easy to read, easy to adjust. That's fine. I like it. Okay. But it's a seven and a quarter. And I like having a six and a half. So I also thought about using, hold on. Now, because I do not own a track saw at this point, I decided to pick up the Craig AccuCut, which we'll do a review on later. Now, I was looking at some reviews and reading some of the details on the Craig AccuCut, and although this seven and a quarter inch aluminum base will be fine, I thought to myself, this is a good opportunity. I like opportunities. Why not try the Milwaukee six and a half fuel? Now I'm right-handed, and I know sometimes it's a little sketchy reaching over the blade to get to your handle, but I prefer a left-hand blade rather than a right-hand blade. And this new seven and a quarter is a right-hand blade. And if I'm ripping sheets, especially with this new AccuCut, I prefer to have the blade on the left side as I'm guiding it down the line. So I thought to myself, this would be a good opportunity for me to compare the seven and a quarter non-fuel brand new Cirque saw to the six and a half fuel Cirque saw. So let's get this thing open. Well, it smells nice. I can tell you that much. Now something I like about this is the magnesium base as opposed to the aluminum base. Now we've got a bit of a size difference here obviously as to be expected but it really does feel nice in the hand. Still got a nice big rafter hook. Now some things to compare immediately. We have a magnesium base versus an aluminum base. We have some etched numbers as opposed to a stainless plate with dedicated painted numbers on there. It is a little easier to see. The sight line is a little better. On a seven and a quarter, obviously, you have your dustless chute. A six and a half, you do not. But other than that, I mean, I know they're both gonna be great saws. There is a nice little weight difference, though. The six and a half feels great. Now, comparing this new six and a half to my old six and a half is actually pretty significant. This old six and a half weighs a ton more. And this thing is so light, this is nice. I really like that. So let's get the blade on it and make some cuts.
right, so just ran it through some cuts. And in all honesty, that was just for the video because I've used them both on the job site already. I've cut through plenty of studs. I've cut through some sheathing. I've cut through two by four, two by six, um, pressure treated, non-pressure treated. So I really cut through everything already with both of these saws. This is just not the same use as say your skill saw, okay? So you're gonna have a rear handle skill saw for something. Some people like using them for everything. I, I personally don't, it's just too heavy. It's just too much to run all day long. Um, all right, they're both great saws. They both operate very well. Because they are both so new, this um, safety switch here is a little sensitive. I would say you can hear the click. And although it's a little more positive on the seven and a quarter, I did have some trouble where as I went to pull the trigger, it wouldn't engage every time. I think you saw that in the video. But I think that that's just being a new saw. Uh, that being said, I ran the same six amp battery in both saws to see how they cut. Now when it comes to sheathing, they cut really comparably. They both cut very well. Seven and a quarter non-fuel versus the six and a half fuel, they cut through the sheathing really well. As a right-hander, the difference for me is I prefer having blade left. Even though your dust is shooting out on you, filling your boot with sawdust, I prefer having blade left. I prefer that to be my line of sight. Um, now for me, the six and a half just fills a really good need. Whereas if you're running a saw all day, I'm gonna choose the skill saw. But if you wanna take a, a saw up, and even if I'm carrying a saw up on my belt, I'm gonna to wanna to carry the six and a half just because it's so light. And in reality, even if I take a two or three amp battery and put that in the six and a half, and I've got that you know, hanging somewhere with me, that's really not a big deal. But the seven and a quarter, it is heavy enough where it's, it's I'm not gonna wanna carry it up with me when I go somewhere at my belt. But you really do have a difference in torque there in saws. So you can hear, let's see. All right, I've got two five amp batteries here. They are both fully charged. So I'm gonna put a five amp in each saw. So here's what I want you to listen to. The difference in RPM from the motor spinning the blade, okay? Listen to the seven and a quarter. Now listen to the six and a half. Seven and a quarter. So six and a half. Now which saw is better or better for you? is a complete personal preference. For me, because I have the skill saw, I would opt for a six and a half when I'm not using the skill saw. So the question remains, is one saw better than the other? And obviously I can't answer that for you. You've gotta figure out which saw is better for your needs. And that may be both. You may want both for different reasons. But that being said, there is a price difference. The seven and a quarter inch non-fuel circ saw ran me 179 plus tax. The six and a half inch fuel ran me 219 plus tax. Now that's bare tool, tool only, no charger or battery. So I guess that's about it for today. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know which saw you prefer and why. So as usual, I'm Adam Neely. Thanks for watching.